Right. Hey, just uh, talk about uh, prayer, but more than just prayer is a specific prayer. And uh, prayer doesn't have to be a lot of noise. Just like a sermon doesn't have to last three hours. A, a, a prayer doesn't have to be a whole lot of noise. And I want to say something to all of our folks there, friends, family, whoever, church members, um, about prayer. And so just want to jump right in on it. Uh, and here's two, two words about prayer, uh, strength and power. And I'm going to give you some verses. The Bible said in 2 Samuel 22, 33, 2 Samuel 22, 33, says, God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. Then Job 23, 6, Job 23, 6 says, he will plead against me. Will he plead against me with his great power? No, but he would put strength in me. Job 23, 6 says he would put strength in me. Then Psalm 68, 35 Psalm 68, 35 says, O God, thou art terrible out of the holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Strength and power unto his people. Then uh, Psalm 71, 18. David is, uh, I reckon, an old man here writing, and he says, Now also, when I'm old and gray-headed, O God, forsa oh, for, uh, forsake me not until I have showed thy strength unto this generation. And thy power to everyone that is to come. So David's prayer was, God, when I'm old and gray-headed, don't forsake me until I've shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Now, if we're going to show anyone God's strength and God's power, then we're going to have to have his strength and power. And the way we have God's strength and power in our life, I believe, is through prayer. And I, it's, I don't want to just assume that I have God's strength and power. I want to pray and ask God for strength and power. And so uh, I believe it's good uh, that we find out how weak we are. Uh, Isaiah 40, 29 says, He giveth power to the faint. Now when you're faint, when you're weary, you're going to have to have help. And the help that we need is from the Lord. You can take any vitamin that you want to, and you can have confidence in vitamins. You have to rest. We have to rest. Rest is not important. It's imperative. Uh, make time to rest. Shut off your mind. Shut everything down and rest. You have to rest. But we're busy people. We got things to do, and there's, and, uh, uh, there's things that have to be done. And so we need strength and power to do it. You can say, well, I'm going to get me an energy drink. And that, I'm, not, I'm not sure that that's the answer. I'm almost certain that's not the answer. Uh, I know that uh, vitamins might help, but I don't think vitamins are the answer necessarily. Here's the answer. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I believe with all of my heart that when you and I are weak, when we're weary, when our strength is all gone, that if we'll honestly and sincerely or humbly pray and say, God, I need strength. I'm beat. I'm whipped. Without you, Lord, I can't do this. I think it's a good thing for us to be stressed, tested, pressed. As long as we'll rest, get physical rest, mental rest, but also if we'll pray and say, God, I can't do it without you. I need your strength. I need your help. Let me share this last passage, 2 Corinthians 1, 8. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 8 says, For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure above strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life. So he said, we thought we were going to die, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which raiseth the dead. So he's saying, you know, whether I die or I feel like I'm going to die, God's going to take care of me. And then it says, who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. And then verse 11, he says, you also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. 
So not only should we pray, I believe, I'm certain we ought to pray for strength for ourselves. God, give me the strength for the day. Uh, God, guide me. God, give me the, the, the mental strength, the physical strength. Strengthen me spiritually. God, give me power. And I'm not trying to differentiate between the two, strength and power. I think they're two twins that God gives. They're double cam lifters that God gives to us is that we need both strength and power in our life. God gives those to those people that ask. And I believe that we ought to pray for one another uh, that God would give strength and power to his people and pray for your friends, pray for your family members that God would give strength and power. And uh, man, get rest. If you need to take a break, uh, take a little vacation if you can. But God knows we're busy and uh, there's things to be done. And sometimes it's overwhelming. And the answer is not to break down, not to despair, but to say, God, give me strength and power. God, I pray, Lord, for strength and power on my life. I pray, God, for strength and power on the lives of our friends and our family. Thank you, Father, for your love and your kindness. God, help us. We, we need you, Lord. Every moment of every day, we need you. We're thankful that we serve a, a great God, full of strength, a God full of power, the Almighty. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Amen.